Okay, let's take a look at number 12 here. So this is the uh, the last question in the, in the problem set. And it's a little bit of a combination question in terms of um, really testing to see all the, the different ways that we can use um, some of our trig uh, formulas here. So what we have is we have uh, two people. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit on this diagram here. We have two people that take two different measurements of an airplane and they're, they're sitting at uh, one kilometer apart. Okay, so I'm gonna label this uh, point A and then I'm gonna label this point B and then we'll label that they're gonna take a sighting for this aircraft here and we're gonna call this point C. Okay, so what we are asked to calculate here is the height of the aircraft above the ground. Now the height of the aircraft above the ground is going to be the vertical line from the, the, where, the where the point C converges on the, um, where point C converges and the vertical height to the ground. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this in a different color. It's really gonna be really hard, a little bit messy here, but there, just think of an imaginary line from point C going straight down. Okay, and I'll try to make this as neat as I can here. Okay, that forms a right angle with the ground, and this is the vertical height that we're being asked to calculate here, H. Okay, so once we have an idea of what we're trying to find here now, now we need to know a strategy to, or, or a way to actually go about and, and get this. So we are told that this angle here is 74 degrees. Um, let me change my marker here, 74 degrees. Okay, and we're also told that this angle here, because that's what the person B is sighting it on the ground, is at 78 degrees. Okay, so we have two different measurements here, 74 and 78. So we have a couple of missing angles here that we would be interested in figuring out um, what they are. Okay, the first one here is, I'm gonna mark this in here as angle one, okay, which is the angle um, sort of on the other side of 78 degrees because it forms part of this triangle. Okay, because remember we have a triangle here that is A, B, and C. Okay, and then we have the, 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 the angle for C, which looks to be very, very narrow, but it is the angle that you would see that separates the two observers, which is one kilometer apart. So let's look at first trying to calculate what those two angles are here. So angle one, we can calculate easily by using our property of straight lines, okay? We know this, a straight line is always equal to 180 degrees, and we know if one chunk of it is 78 degrees, then when we subtract it, we should be able to get the other chunk, which is in this case gonna be 102 degrees. Okay, so that allows us to calculate angle one. Now angle two, we are just gonna use a property of triangles, okay, again, which is 180 degrees, but we know one of them here is going to be 74 degrees, and we know that the other one here is gonna be 102 degrees, which is what we calculated in the previous step, and when we subtract all those, we will get an answer of four degrees. Okay, so four degrees is that narrow angle that's opposite to the one kilometer. So <clears throat> what we have here is that we need to figure out though this vertical height H, okay, which is the thing that we're really after here. So if we think about this, there is actually another triangle here. There's a triangle that would start at point A, go up to point C and then follow that dotted line down. Okay, so I'm just gonna mark it in here and we'll call this point D. Okay, so we have this other triangle, which is a right triangle at from A, C, D. Okay, so triangle A, C, and D, which is a right triangle. Okay, and a right triangle means that it's 90 degrees, but we also have that vertical height um, which we're being asked to find, okay, which in this case here is segment C, D. So C, D is the actual thing that we need to find. Okay, so if we knew one of the distances 
for one of the triangles here, one of the, the sides, if we knew this side here, okay, we could calculate the vertical height because we know its angle is 74 degrees and we know that um, there's a property that says sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, so sine, side AC is what we kind of really need to find, okay? This is what we're interested in calculating. So the only other way that we can really do that is if we use the sine law because we have a couple of things that we know here now. Okay, so if I'm just gonna, we'll just work out some calculations here. So we know angle two is four degrees, okay? And we know the distance is one kilometer. That's the opposite side to that. Okay, and then we also know angle one now is 102 degrees. Okay, 102 degrees. And that is the distance over side AC. Okay, so we can cross multiply and calculate what side AC is equal to. So I'll bring AC to the top. Okay, it's just gonna actually be sine of 102 degrees divided by sine of four degrees. Okay, times it by one, which won't make a difference. So if we do our calculation here, we are going to get side AC is equal to roughly 14.02. So that means our distance, where that question mark would be, is now equal to 14.02. Okay, and I think these are kilometers. Okay, so that means that's that hypotenuse distance. Okay, so that's our first step here. Our second step is that now we can use the definition of sine. So we know the sine of an angle. Okay, in this case here, we're going to take sine of 74 degrees is equal to opposite. Okay, so we're going to kind of ignore this middle line here, but we're going to look at the H. So the H is the opposite side. Okay, and that forms a right triangle, which means that the opposite side to that right triangle is going to be 14.02. So H is the thing that we're after, which is our vertical height. So if I cross multiply and solve for this, sine 74 degrees times 14.02, this is going to give us 13.5 kilometers. So that means the vertical height of that airplane, <clears throat> which is um, segment CD or that vertical height H is equal to 13.5 um, kilometers. So this one's just a little tricky because what they're asking you to do here, I'll just shrink this so you can see it all, is they're asking you to calculate the vertical height which you have to put in Okay, but you're given two observers on the ground and you are then having to figure out, you have a triangle formed by those two observers where you have missing angles and a missing side. Okay, so you'll need to calculate those missing angles and then that missing side using the sine law. And then the second step is just to use the definition of sine to calculate the vertical height of that second triangle that you would have, okay? So if you don't see that triangle, it's actually this one right here, right? It's the one that goes straight down and then it goes to right here, okay? So a little bit tricky, this question, because it's a kind of an application. This is actually like a triangulation problem, which is how they can measure distances using two different observers. But this is sort of the math that goes in behind it. It's a couple of steps um, in order you needed to solve it, okay? So that's how that question would work.